Hello there, Aries. Welcome to your mid-June. So um, the first message I'm feeling for some of you here is um, it, I feel like it can go one of two ways. Um, I feel like there is some divvying up of assets, of um, physical things like, you know, uh, belongings, merchandise, um, money even, balancing out some type of uh, um, financial obligation between you and a relationship partner. Now, this relationship partner might be somebody that you're still with or you are um, already broken up with and you're trying to divide up your assets. You're trying to extract yourself from each other. So I feel there's an element here of they're saying like bittersweet, some bittersweet memories being dug up when you are looking through items, trying to, you know, harness everything that it belongs to them, put it in a box so that you can drop it off for them. So there's that bittersweet energy that I'm picking up here. For others of you, I feel like uh, your partner might be might be coming across, if you're in a relationship, your partner might be uh, getting a new job offer, might be shifting career, shifting into a new work environment. And I feel that... Um, the work itself, it's. I, I feel like it's um, the the money from this new job. It might be a little bit tight. Okay, so he or she might not be getting paid as much in this new work environment. But I feel that it's just a, a period of readjustment so that you both can try to figure out, you know, as a couple or even respectively, how to budget, how to um, divvy up, you know, responsibilities, how to divide up. Um, to, to make sure that the relationship is still fair, to make sure the contributions are still, you know, solid and, and, and fair between two partners. I feel like some of you, uh, there might be travel and trips required for this new job. So it could be you with the new job or your partner with the new job. And it, it's like it, it's throwing a little bit of a wrench in the works because I feel like it's disrupting the, the, the natural flow of the relationship. And it's really... It's really indicating to me that, you know, adjustment needs to happen. Um, others of you in relationships as well, I feel like there are just serious values differences, okay? And uh, let me talk a little bit about values. Um, values basically uh, denotes, you know, um, do we want to have a family? How do we feel about this? How do we feel about that? Some people um, can get really greatly, you know, get along with a relationship partner, but if our values are not in alignment with one another, we might end up wanting different things out of that relationship, right? So I feel like there is huge discussions here regarding values differences between you and the partner that you're dating or the people that you are coming into contact with in the dating environment. And you might realize that, you know what, we we're not heading in the same direction. We don't want family. We don't want the same things. And so... While you love them, you don't see how the relationship can come together. And values can also, you know, indicate individual values, hard work, perseverance, determination. I feel like one person is kind of uh, slacking off and the other person is kind of doing all the work. And so there is an imbalance when it comes to individual contribution in the relationship. If that's what you're dealing with, have a talk. You're a very assertive sign. So I feel like it's not really coming from your end, but I just feel that the other person needs that, that, you know, fire lit up under them for them to move to action and they need to feel inspired. So I feel like one person kind of depending on the other person, um, I feel like one person is just very proactive in type A and the other person is just very laid back in type B. And so the relationship, it's like you, one person automatically assumes the role of the do, the doer and the, the leader. And then the other person just follows along. So, you know, cultivate these things, uh, in your partner and try to ask them to step up. So I feel like, um, for a couple of people, there is a reassessment needed to happen. And there's also that element about, needing to step up to match the other person, either from you or from your partners, and somebody needing to step up to match the contribution, okay? Um, the other thing I'm feeling here is um, I feel like a lot of you are working, doing something that you love, and I feel like you're, you're either doing something like related to healthcare, the health industry, or you're doing some work that is providing people a really good, you know, um, I want to say like you're, you're providing social services for people. So you're doing something that not only has financial stability, 
longevity as well. Um, but it has like pension benefits. It, it has like a lot of security for retirement. And you're also doing it because you believe in the work that you do. And I feel like, you know, it's starting to dawn on you that being in the service industry or helping people is something that's really your passion and your calling. And because of that, I feel like you are kind of um, being nudged by the universe to, you know, if, if you're, for example, if you dropped out of school and you're at a job and you really love the work that you do and you feel like, wait a minute, if I go back to school and get into this field, I can increase my earnings, I can help more people, I can have the skills to shift into the, the helping profession, for example. So I feel some of you are really contemplating schooling right now. I do see disposable income coming in for you. So financially, I feel like you're in a good space. I just feel like some of you are financially linked up with another person or have been for quite some time, so you didn't have that sense of independence. But now that you have that financial independence, you're thinking about all the possible things that you can do with your disposable income. And uh, I do feel investment in education, especially if you want, uh, if you know that you want a different job or you know exactly the job that you want. And you know the only thing getting in between you and that job is, you know, the degree, the diploma, the certificate, whatever it is. I feel that uh, investment in it is going to be good, okay? Um, what I'm also feeling is some of you really want to go back to school and there are demands here. Uh, financial constraints, uh, family obligations, possibly children in the family. They're not old enough to take care of themselves. You don't want to waste money on a babysitter. So I feel like you're you're holding it off, holding off schooling, holding off doing things that you know you want, mainly because of constraints. But I feel that the constraints are going to lift. I feel October might be a really good time for you to seriously think about taking a course, entering a course, and returning back to school. Um, in your fifth house, so this is uh, basically dealing with children, okay? Uh, a lot of success coming through from children. So I feel like, you know, they're getting promotions, they're getting business together, they're getting proposals together. So I feel like they're going to bring you a lot of pride. Um, what I'm also feeling as well is um, 12th house. So this is, uh, we have here a lot of a lot of gifts, trinkets, divine, I want to say like... Um, I want to say luck, okay, financial luck, financial blessing. So if you were to um, win a con uh, enter a contest and, you know, win something, like winning some type of financial windfall, I feel like that's coming through as well, all right? So you have some really positive things here, uh, Aries. Take care of yourself, okay? I'll be back for the July reading. Bye-bye.